So it's day three at Productronica 2021. We're um, what's new in electronics TV. I'm joined by David from um, VJ Tronics. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, thanks for um, having me. Hopefully not too worn out after <laughs> two days of standing around at the yeah, show. Yeah, right. Um, I'd just like to touch on a, a few bits. You know, it's been a, a challenging couple of years um, for, for us all, you know, with, with COVID and everything. But the industry has fa faced quite a few challenges with, you know, shortages, supply chain issues, which, you know, they've been headline news. So, mm. uh, you know, has that affected your business and how have you reacted to it? Yeah, so it certainly has affected uh, the industry um, and our business. It's created uh, a, a, an increase in demand for some of our products, some of our x-ray systems that we use for component counting and inventory management. Uh, it's become important for our customers to have an accurate uh, count and accurate um, uh, tally of the, of the devices that they are able to get. So it's created an increase in demand for x-ray component counting. Um, and uh, also on another side of our business is uh, rework equipment. So it's created uh, an interesting yeah. need there for um, customers are focusing quite a bit on um, salvaging what they do have if they need to rework PC boards, as well as a unique situation where they may be short on certain key components, one or two uh, components on a board. As they run through the SMT normal process line, they may build all except for one or two components and now they're actually using rework equipment to be able to go back and place right. one or two components yeah. to complete the job. Which is interesting, you know, it's something that was, it was always there, you know, we, we need to improve efficiency kind of thing, and suddenly that has become a really serious, important issue, hasn't it? Right, yeah, so it's a big impact on a lot of our customers are seeing really long lead times on some components, so it's important for them to manage their inventory really closely and be able to be flexible and rework as they need to. So you had some serious demands for your customers then, really, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, and how, you know, how has it, uh, how's the business reacted to the, the whole thing? You know, we've had, everyone's had to adapt and change, not just how you deal with your customers, but how you work as a business yourself. Right, yeah. So it has had an effect, you know, we are starting to see the um, supply chain shortages, not just in, in chips, but in many uh, of the components that go into our system, it has, had, had an effect on our manufacturing capabilities. We've invested a bit in, uh, quite a bit in uh, lean manufacturing uh, at our company, which has really improved the efficiency of our operations, and we're, we're seeing a lot of benefit from that in, in the area of uh, being able to continue to build our systems even with some shortages of material. Um, and you're, you know, you've, uh, went, now we're sort of moving out of this situation. Have you had to bring in, you know, a lot of online communications with customers to keep everything moving. Yeah, right. It's been an important part of, of our business over the last two years. We've, at the onset of COVID, when <clears throat> it was clear that travel was going to be a serious restriction, we invested quite a bit in some online uh, capabilities for product demonstrations for our customers to be able to bring them into our uh, demonstration suite with webinars and online um, product demonstrations, as well as our service team has increased capabilities for uh, remote uh, service work online capabilities to uh, remote into our machines on customer site as well as be able to have video connection to help them through situations where we couldn't, can't really travel there. Yeah. It must have been quite a challenge to service teams actually to well, a, adapt to this sort of situation but then work out exactly how to make it all work in an economic Manner. Right, yeah, it's it's a challenge for sure. Our customers have been great being picking up on their side <clears throat> capabilities to, to fix equipment when, when they can or even help with installations and these type of things with remote support from us yeah. as well. Do you think th this has kind of improved customer relations a bit as well? Because, you know, everyone's had to be a bit more forgiving, a bit more accommodating mm. and pull together really to make things work isn't it you know it's not just about okay we can do this online for you they have to buy into that yeah. and work with you on all of those things yeah do you think hopefully those sort of relationships will carry on as we come out of this whole yeah time? i think i think it, it in certain ways it has strengthened it uh, there's certainly nothing like being in person uh, uh with, with with our customers and being close with our customers which is where really where we have strived to be but um, we've all made the best of what we can during the, the time where we're not able to travel. Things are, are loosening up and, and opening up now, yeah. so uh, we're able to be on site with our customers more, but uh, it was a challenge for a while yeah. there. Yeah. 
how's the show been actually being able to be face to face to people? Yeah, it's been great to be back out. And you know, many people that I've, I've met and, and spoken with here haven't traveled in 12 or 18 months. So this is kind of the first big event and show where people are out getting out and, and reconnecting. And I think it's been really good to, yeah. to, to be able to do and that. And has it exceeded your expectations of the number of visitors and general? Yeah, we weren't really sure what, what to expect. Um, uh, it has a, uh, it's been good. Uh, there, it's kind of been up and down a, a little bit, but in, in general, uh, I think there's a higher attendance than, than we feared. Uh, that it may, you know, maybe slow, but um, so it has ex exceeded the expectation. Yeah, it's been pretty. It's been a good show. That's good. Um, how do you see? I mean, you know, what have we been talking? What, what's people's main source of interest? I guess, like you say, that you know, being able to refine their um, rework and. Um, identifying components right well <clears throat> yeah so for us the, the the main focus has been on how you know our customers are uh, EMS companies that build printed circuit boards so they're in, in a real challenge right now with the chip supply shortage so how do they become more efficient how do they track their inventory how do they how do they rework when they need to uh, how do they inspect for defects yeah. so yeah. how long do you think this situation is going to carry on with the you know the restriction in supply yeah, so... Um, Where's the crystal ball? <laughs> I don't think anyone really knows, but if you, you know, reports that I have heard are at least into the middle of next year, possibly even, uh, even uh, you know, another whole full year of this. Yeah. So it's a challenge. We'll, we'll still be talking about this at Apex then, and then yeah, probably... Yeah, it could be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think for sure we will yeah. be, yeah. I mean, so, yeah. talk about conversation. Um, well, I hope the rest of the show is good for you. Um, yeah, thanks too. for coming over. Um, it certainly looks busy already, so it's still it right. mid-morning, so yeah. yeah. Thanks for spending the time. Very good. Okay, thanks for Thank having you. me. Thanks. Bye -bye.